Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a science experiment about the Ziploc bag poking in some pencils and we'll see how much it contains. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe on that red button. So let's begin. So the ingredients are like, so you'll need this jug with water in it and some food coloring. If you don't want food coloring and you don't have them, you don't need to use them. And some pencils. And um, something to mix with, I just got a straw. So let's do the science experiment. So I've got this glass so I can pour the water from the jug into the glass. So I'm gonna, first I'm going to pour the water from the jug into the, the glass. I might do it multiple times because this glass is too small. So now I'm gonna put all of the water, which I poured in my glass, in the Ziploc bag. And I might need more, as I said. I should, I'm just gonna use this. Is it done yet? Okay. So, um, I filled the Ziploc bag with water and put some purple food coloring. Now, I have to be very careful because it's a fat guy. And now I have to put all the pencils through the Ziploc bag. So, I'm putting the first pencil in. Oh my god, it worked? Okay. Uh, now the second pencil. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> okay. Did it, did it spill? Okay, did it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put the third pencil in. Oh my god. Okay. See how it didn't go outside? I mean, the water didn't go outside. Okay, my fourth, so I'm gonna put the fourth one in now. Okay, it did not spill. So I think this was the last one. Okay, so now it did not spill. So that means this is a success. Did not spill. So do you know why the water is not coming outside? Because the Ziploc is made by polymer, and when we uh, poke the pencil in the Ziploc bag, all the uh, molecules stick together. But, um, when it covers the whole, when the pencil covers the whole. So that's why. So the, the third step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of the pencils out. So I'm gonna take all of the pencils out and when I take this one out, when the pencil is out of the hole, then all the, wa all the water comes out, but the hole is still there, so the water comes out. Last pencil. Is it doing it? Oh, from that side? Okay, you can do it from that, front, that side. It's gonna fill the whole container. It's all halfway done. Oh my God. That's it for this experiment. I will show you another science experiment. So this is the second experiment that we're gonna do. So this experiment, you will need five glasses, a straw or a spoon, whatever you want, and a jug or a glass with water in it so you can fill the glasses, and some food coloring, and three paper towels. So let's begin. So first, you're gonna fill these glasses. You're gonna fill this glass, this glass, and the middle glass. Not these two glasses, next to the middle glass. You don't fill those. So I'm gonna fill this glass with water. 
half, not whole, or you're gonna lose your water. Okay, the middle one. Okay, and the last one. Okay, I put too much, it's okay. I'll just share with these, and I might put these away. So, I like um, um, throw the water because I did too much, and so now we're gonna put the food coloring in the, the glasses which we filled with water. So, first I'm gonna start with the purple food coloring, and then I'm gonna put it in the first glass. You might not see it because these are very, like, you can't see glasses. <laughs> but when we put the paper towels, you can see because the paper towels are white. And then the white is bright and then you can see the colors that it is. So next is red. And the middle glass is going to be red. Okay, and now the last one is blue. I added too much. Okay, so now you're gonna get the paper towels. The first paper towel. You might need four, but I think you will need three. So now you're gonna fold paper towel two times. I'm gonna fold it my paper towel. I mean, yeah, bounty. And I'm gonna put it from, well, you can't have magical power, so you can't like do it all at the same time. You only need three or two or four. So first you're gonna get the paper towel when you folded it in two ways. Now you're gonna put it over here from the filled glass and the not filled glass. Okay, now the water's traveling. And now we are gonna fold the second one into like, like I showed you in the first one. And put it from here here okay now the third one am I right okay the third one okay and now I'll put it from the red to the empty glass well you can use any paper towel but don't use like those paper like I don't know what they're called the paper towel is normal use bounty because it's kind of like good and then it it's very hard so like okay now we did that part so now we did all the steps now we have to wait for one hour then then you will see the water travels to another one that is the empty glass so see you in one hour so as you can see after waiting one hour the water traveled through the paper towel and and then the the colored paper the colored food coloring that i put uh went to the empty glass and it didn't uh, fill the whole glass with the water and so all the color as you can see mixed up together and made different colors that don't so you, do you know what the reason all behind all of this so it's called capillary action. So when you plant trees outside, the roots take the water from the underground and then plant a big tree with leaves and branches. So I took the paper towel off and I, I put it over here so it doesn't make a mess. And so as you can see in these glasses, these are the glasses that I fill. And these two are the glasses I didn't fill. So all these helpful glasses gave the water to this one and this one. So, and 
You can use this for your art if it works. <laughs> okay, everyone, that's it for today's video. I hope you like these two experiments that kids can do at home anytime at the quarantine or any day. <laughs> And, um, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Please click on the red button and do a big th thumbs up. Bye.